And now, GVB Channel 316 News. Thank you for joining us this evening. The virus has changed our lives, no doubt. Socks have plummeted. Store shelves are empty or have few items for sale. Young lady, are there more rolls of toilet paper in the back? I guess uh, that means no. Who needs toilet paper anyways? <laughs> <laughs> We have a guest in the studio. Dr. John is here to advise us on the next step we can take. Good evening, Dr. John, and thanks for joining us. We may be out of toilet paper for a while. Can you tell us how long this pandemic will last? The virus is unknown. There are too many unknowns. People should stay at home until we say it is okay to come out. Dr. John, is it true? That fresh air and sunshine dissipate viruses? The virus is unknown. There are too many unknowns. People should stay at home until we tell them... Oh, excuse me. I have just been informed that actor Teller Slifley has just tested positive for the virus. Dr. John, can you give us any insight? Yes. The virus is unknown. There are too many unknowns. People should stay inside. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're out of time. We will keep you informed as more news comes up. This is Chester Lester reporting. <sighs> I'm so bored. I can't ride my bike past the corner. I can't go to Sylvester's house. Hmm. Let me see what's on TV. Ollie? Ollie, are you watching t Turn that TV off! <sighs> I can't even watch TV anymore. <sighs> I wonder what Lorelei is doing. What are you doing, Lorelei? What does it look like, Ollie? I'm coloring a picture. Don't you know, Lorelei, that there's a virus going around? The Crayola virus. Why are you using those Crayolas? Don't you know you might get the virus? What are you babbling about? It's on the news. I guess if you don't care that you might die. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm just a kid and... I don't know for sure, but you could get the Crayola virus. I heard even if you have a picture that you drew with Crayolas, you could get the virus. You mean coloring with crayons could give me the virus? I'm only saying what I heard. Mom and Dad have had the news on constantly. Haven't you been listening? about. Baby Lucy spilled my big box of crayons all over the floor in my room. She spills things all the time, honey. It will be all right. I, I don't know what you're so upset about. Granny Dinah, don't you know about the virus? Well, yes, of course, sweetie. What does that have to do with anything? Lorelai, why are you so upset? 
the Crayola virus. Baby Lucy's going to get it and die, and I am too. The Crayola virus? Yes, I'm going to die. And so is Baby Lucy. <laughs> she spilled my crayons all over my room. She's infectious. And I was coloring a picture, so I'm infectious too. Infected. So I am going to die. <laughs> Lorelai, Lorelai, stop crying. Lorelai, honey, I think what you're talking about is what's called the corona, corona virus. It's also called COVID-19. It doesn't have anything to do with Crayola crayons or markers. Those are actually awesome to have right now, especially. Huh? It doesn't? It's not a Crayola virus? Ollie? Yes? Ollie, have you been telling Lorelai she was going to die? No. I told her I'm just a kid. And I don't know for sure. So you did say something that made her think she was infected? Okay, both of you, listen to me. God has not given us a spirit of fear. Do you remember that verse in Second Timothy? God gives us a spirit of wisdom and a sound mind. Kids... A real virus is making everyone in the world very afraid right now. But no one wants to be sick. And that is why we have to stay home right now and be wise, like the Bible says. There's a verse in Isaiah 26 that told the people of Israel to stay home and lock their doors for a little while. There were several times in the Bible that God told people to stay put. It was for safety then. And it is for our safety now. That is why we are home. Ollie, it isn't very kind of you to make your sister afraid, is it? Um... Lorelai, what could you think of that we could do to help us get through this time of fear in our nation? Not listen to mean little brothers. Well, maybe... Wash our hands? Yes, we should wash our hands a lot. But I was thinking we could memorize the verse that I mentioned that tells us not to be afraid. That would be one thing we could do. Well, how could that help? When we say over and over the verse in 2 Timothy 1.7, it tells our mind not to fear because God does not give us a spirit of fear. He gives us power and boldness and makes our mind wise to discern and to have self-discipline. Boy, Ollie, you really need that verse. Hey! We all need that verse. But the Bible has a lot of good advice for us. So the more verses we read in the Bible, the better. Ollie, I want you to think about something else. Your baby sister Lucy watches everything you do. She copies you. She even wears your shoes around the house. So be a good example to her, okay? Okay, okay, I will try. Try not. Do, like Yoda would say. <gasps> Ooh, can we watch Star Wars? Granny Dinah, could you pray with me? I'm still a little scared of the virus. Sure, Lorelai. God, God, we know you have a plan for us all. Please calm our fears and heal our nation and the world. Help us to remember to turn you to you in times like these. Thank you for loving us. Amen. Mom and Dad are watching the news again! <laughs>
The sock market is climbing once again. It may not be over yet, but we will get through this.